Hello, my name is Debo Adejano, a real estate entrepreneur, MDCO Realty Point Limited. They call us the Sakyo Landlord People. And this is Real Estate Business with Debo Adejano. In this episode, I will be continuing what I started in the previous episode. We we're talking about unbundling total financial makeover. How do you make over yourself financially? You know, how do you get over all of these challenges, especially in a difficult economy? As the coronavirus pandemic is causing us to experience at the moment, how do you ensure that you are financially stable and free? Any season, any period. Of course, I'm a real estate entrepreneur, and so I usually would tailor my discussion towards that field or specialization. But then, financial freedom is all-encompassing. Everybody desires to be financially free, right? So, we treated the part one. It is We are trying to onboard So, the pack one we treated, what I call pack one, treated the last time. Today, we'll be treating the pack two. I'm calling it a pack or a bundle simply because it consists of so many parts. Even though it's the second segment, it consists of so many parts. So, segment one was treated. This is segment two. And it consists of so many parts. About seven parts alone in this part two. I definitely won't exhaust it in this video. But I will get to talk about something that is very, very important. That is your net worth. And how do you determine your financial retirement figure? How do you know uh, what figure you can retire on and retire safely with? Okay, how do you know that? I'll be right back. Real estate independence fast track course is not something you want to joke with at all. Loads and loads and loads of learning and information and benefits await you at the next one. All you need to do is ensure that you register for your next fast track course. We're looking forward to seeing you. Do you want to be financially free? I hope you know that you retire someday. And you probably are desirous of doing business with real estate or investing property for yourself for your use. You need to learn about it before you make that investment. I tell people you want to buy properties, you want to invest in property one way or other, don't do it until you attend the next real estate entrepreneurs fast track course. See you there. Welcome back. Now, talking about net worth and your retirement figure, your net worth is simply the net of what you own minus what you owe. Okay? What you own, once what you owe is deducted from what you own, what is left of it is your net worth. Now, a lot of people have negative net worth. You can have negative net worth. What that means is that what you are owing far outweighs what you own. It's not a good place to be. You are at the brink, okay, of bankruptcy when your net worth is negative because it simply means that if the people you are owing calls for their money, you will not be able to pay all of them, and that would mean bankruptcy. Okay, so you sh that is not where you want to be. You always want to be in a place whereby what you own at least is far more than sufficiently more than what you owe if you owe anything at all. Okay. The best place to be is not to owe anything at all, such that what you own is all that is your network because you owe nothing. Okay? Now, the, you can have a zero, even though that is difficult, a zero network, meaning what you own is exactly equal to what you owe. And then you can have positive net worth, which means that what you own is more than what you owe. Now, the more it is, the better. So, the higher your positive net worth, the better your life is. So, the best thing, the aim, is to always have more that you own, okay? And very little that you owe. 
if you owe anything at all. Of course, if you are considering real estate transactions, which we encourage everybody to, it may be difficult for you not to owe anything. It's not impossible, okay? Especially at some times, because for some, you may want to buy your property using mortgage and all of that. So you would hold the mortgage element for some time till you pay off. That is understandable. But even at that, you know, you, what you own must be more than what you owe. That is really the best place to be. When trying to make yourself over financially, you must strive to ensure that you limit debt. Yes, very important. In your financial intelligence, financial planning, financial freedom, you must know it's always easy to collect credit. But I can tell you, it's always very difficult to pay it back. And a lot of times, credit makes you lose your thinking faculty. It doesn't enable you to really think properly and still be able to achieve a lot of things without necessarily needing credit that you'll have been able to achieve. You just go for the easy route. So the higher your positive net worth is, the better your life. The other important thing is your retirement figure. Remember I said earlier in prior episode that you are not just supposed to be financially free whilst you are working, but even after retirement, as in after you've left paid employment, are you going to be financially free still? Can you still take care of your basic necessities? How do you start to plan such now, such that when that time comes, you will be financially free? It is by knowing, for example, what your expenditure will look like at retirement. And that is the first thing. You need to know that. The next thing will be to then plan towards how you will build up your income level, particularly passive income level, to be able to generate that much money at retirement. Okay? So, your financial makeover involves this particular segment. Number two segment. And the number one thing there is knowing your net worth and knowing your retirement figure. You want to, with simple Excel sheets, you can know your net worth, okay? Just putting in stuff as to those headings, okay? Then, with simple Excel sheet also, you can calculate what your retirement figure is. Um, we have an application that can enable you do that. And for now, I mean, you can get it for free. Okay, once it's ready, we are working on something like that. Once it's ready, we'll push it out to you and you can use it for free. You can use it to determine your net worth and also use it to determine your retirement figure. Now, your retirement figure is a figure that you would, um, is a figure that's the, the picture of your expenses at retirement. You say, hey, how do I know that? Or how will I know that from now? It's very simple. I mean, what is your retirement age? When do you plan to retire? Yes, you need to have such plans. If it is the regular uh, work life, it is 60. In some profession, they can take 65. I'm not sure if you are, if you are in the legal profession or you are a judge or something, uh, whether they take or lecturer, I think they probably some one of these professions get up to 70, you know, and that's just about it, okay, that I know of in this part of the world. Okay, so whatever your retirement age is, or some people want to retire early by themselves. They've decided, I want to retire at 40, I want to retire at 50, I want to retire at 55. Now, note that for a lot of people, which is this, this, and this is what I advise, for a lot of people, retirement is not about not ever needing to work again. They still want to continue to do stuff, but they just don't want to do it for the money. Okay? So they want to be able to do stuff, okay, whether money comes out of it or not. That's their retirement. And so they want to gather enough money in time that will take care of them for the rest of their lives, where it will free them to be able to use their time to do other stuff that is very meaningful and dear to them that may not necessarily. I mean, pay them, or even maybe they would even be expending from their own resources to execute that. For example, uh, if you're a married couple, you have children right now, and you plan to get to retire maybe by 65 or 70 or 60, it may be that your children will have been out of the house. So even if you're spending so much on 
feeding the house right now, okay, food consumption right now in the house, if it is so much, by the time you are retiring, because of the other mouths that won't be there anymore, your children that will be out of the house, maybe you just have one or two people to your, uh, in addition to yourselves, you may not need to be spending that much on food anymore. So you just take what your expenses will be at retirement. That's what I'm saying. And uh, if your, uh, so for example, health, you, you may want to increase your budget for health because when you are also older, you may need more attention, okay? Um, you may need to have, to pay more attention to your health, especially if you've neglected yourself over time while uh, while growing up, okay? You may need that. So you may have to spend more on health. So you would adjust your expenses right now that way to fit into what your retirement will look like, okay? Once you do that, you then apply the inflation factor. Knowing the number of years you still have far away from retirement, you apply the inflation factor on that figure. That will give you an idea of what your retirement figure is. But like I shared, in the application we are coming up with, all of this will have been factored in. And you just put punch in your numbers, I mean, your figures, and then it will give you your retirement figure that you should be working with, an estimation that you should be working with. Thank you. I believe you've enjoyed the video that you just watched. You gained a lot, right? Now, let me share with you where they say it all starts. It's called the Real Estate Entrepreneur's Fast Track Course. It's a two all day event. Two days fully packed teaching you about real estate, not just teaching you, showing you real estate stuff that you probably would not know. I'll be teaching you as a real estate entrepreneur or someone that is buying real estate for personal use or for investment one way or the other. This is a course you don't want to miss. There is no two of its kind in the market. It's the best that there is in the market and you want to be there. Guess what? It is absolutely free. If it is about real estate and it is about investing, particularly in Nigeria, this is a course that you want to attend. For the value that you will gain, it is absolutely free. All you need to do right now is to click on the link and register for the next Real Estate Entrepreneur's Fast Track course. As a real estate entrepreneur or as a owner occupier of a house, this is a course you don't want to miss. So see you at the next Real Estate Entrepreneur's Fast Track course. Click the link below and get registered. Looking forward to seeing you there.